hear his word and you do it, you're like that, you're wise. You, how about the, the two men went up to pray? Remember the Lord Jesus going, two men go up to pray. One a Pharisee, the other a publican. I said a, I, no, I said the other a publican. It sounded like I said, the other a Republican. <laughs> the other Republican. I swear, I, I, you heard me right. <laughs> My last trip to Israel, I went with the Republican National Committee. I got to go and preach to, I went to Israel with the sinners and Republicans and <laughs> preached Christ to them at the side. It was the coolest evangelism ever. I, I won't get invited by the Democrats to do that. The Democratic National Committee doesn't invite people like me or you. Just understand that. Let me, can I make a statement? I, I, I will, all right? It, <laughs> Judas was a Democrat. <laughs> but ultimately, I, I think, honestly, contrast is what we ought to be drawing. We ought to be going, look, I, I said that, by the way, I said that at home at church on a Sunday night. I was in John chapter 12, Judas is observing this expression of love and he puts dollar signs to it and goes, that is a waste. That should have been sold and the money given to the poor. And John writes by the Holy Spirit, this he said, not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and he had the purse. Is that not a Democrat? So I said that, <clears throat> and, I, and a guy, <clears throat> local uh, history teacher in our high school, yells from the back of the room, I'm a Democrat and God loves me. And there's this brief moment of awkwardness. And I go, <laughs> God loves you just the way you are, but too much to let you stay that way. So then I gotta say, well, that's, that's interesting. You identify yourself as a Democrat. Your party is for the wholesale murder of babies, the redefinition of family, governmental theft. Your party is on every single issue on the other side of God. What is up with all the pastors of America thinking, well, we're just gonna, do, just gonna little tip to, you, this little song and dance is cowardice. And the clarity is not being provided. There's, see, look, here's the deal. You either are, and, and rather than go, all right, Democrat versus Republican, because the Republicans are, are wicked. I've met them. I know them personally. They're wicked. Sinners. They've been invaded by a bunch of godless. They really are. They've betrayed the cause. But um, I think it's, it's better for us to talk in terms of godless versus godly. And there are the godless. And th their starting point is that God doesn't exist. God, you know, man made God. That's what they say. On the other side, we, we say, no, God made man. Therefore, we answer to God. And if your starting point is God made man, then we're going to agree with the revelation of God that man is a sinner and is accountable to God. And as a sinner, can't be trusted with much. It was biblical thought that... Com that it was biblical thinkers coming out of a prayer meeting under the effects of the Great Awakening that wrote the United States Constitution. It's a document that would only be written by someone who believes that people are sinners and therefore you can't trust them with much. You gotta limit their powers. But if you're on the other side, if you believe that man created God, God doesn't really exist, man answers to no one, that man is good, by what standard would he not be good? And if that's your starting point, that's going to take you places. You're going to believe you ought to trust man. You ought to trust him with a lot. In fact, give him more power. And if given the opportunity, men will just do what's in the best interest of their fellow man. That's, that's a stupid thought. <laughs> but it disagrees with the wisdom of God, the revelation of God. Anyway, Pharisee versus publican. 